I'm Julie Pace at the White House. We all woke up this morning to some news that can really only be described as stunning. President Barack Obama has been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Now, the Nobel Committee says they awarded this to Obama for his extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between peoples. Obama becomes the third sitting U.S. president to win the Nobel Peace Prize. But what's particularly shocking to a lot of Nobel observers is he only took office two weeks before the deadline to nominate someone for the Nobel Peace Prize. And of course, a lot of his critics are going to be saying, what has Obama done in the past nine months to actually win this award? If you look at what the Nobel Committee said, a lot of this is really about setting a tone for this award. They take sort of a veiled jab at former President Bush, talking a lot about not Obama's actual accomplishments, but what he says he wants to do down the line. Now, the thing everybody is asking today is how will the White House play this announcement? Of course, some people will say that they can use this to advance their agenda, particularly on issues like Middle East peace, on nuclear nonproliferation. On the other hand, they may try to downplay the announcement. This obviously raises expectations for a president who already has sky-high expectations. But the other part of this is that we're dealing with a White House that has really been looking for a win on a signature issue. Now, they didn't get it on health care. They didn't get it on Middle East peace or on dealing with Iran at this point. But it does give them maybe a little bit of a boost as uh, at a time when the president has really been looking for something to push him forward. I'm Julie Pace for the Associated Press at the White House.